Hey folks, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. Today we are going to be using the creative side of our brains. We're going to be getting all artistic and trying to win the most prestige points with the most amazing painting as we unbox the Kickstarter exclusive version of Road to Infamies Canvas. Hey folks, welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, and you should by now, my name is Matt. And as I said at the outset, I'm very excited to be unboxing the new game from Road to Infamy, their Canvas. Now this is the uh, Kickstarter Deluxe Edition of the game. Uh, and as you can see, it's so awesome, you can hang it on the wall like a piece of art. Um, this is also delayed. It's, uh, it had arrived a little while ago, but we've been busy, uh, lots going on. Our sister business with me working as a wedding photographer, makes things very, very tricky for us as well. Uh, at the same time, this also coincides with the successful funding of the Reflections expansion for Canvas, which has just uh, launched or just been successfully funded today, literally a few hours ago. Uh, not only will, be, will we, we uh, I'll be taking you through the box here for Canvas, I also have a few extra expansion bits and pieces to take you through as well, which is awesome. Uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna rip off our plastic up here. Now, for those of you who've watched the channel before, you'll know exactly where the plastic is going to go. Uh, plastic is going to go squarely on the floor, which is awesome. And the canvas, um, uh, you would have already seen the, the banner that's come up on the screen, one to five players, 14 plus, about 30 minutes per game, uh, depending on how much you think about it. Now, I just think the beauty of this box as an artwork is it's, it's pretty impressive. I think you'll agree the color palette's pretty awesome. It's rigged up like a drawer that opens from the top so that if it's mounted, you can see it's got a little um, thing here. If it's mounted on the wall, it opens up that way uh, rather than obviously falling out onto the floor, which uh, would be pretty nasty. But just the artwork is fantastic. Those of you that have been watching our Gotcha Backer series uh, on YouTube as well will see, will have seen the Reflections expansion box, which is the same size and sits here, but continues the illustration across, which is just awesome as well. Uh, look, I'm excited. I need to open this one up so we can get into it. We were part of the print and play uh, proofing of this one. So we do have a print and play copy, which is definitely not as impressive as this one, uh, but uh, we'll have a look and show you what the contents are of the box. And I'm sure um, this is gonna outshine uh, most of the stuff that Road to Infamy has done. Uh, very excited to get in and see what it's all about. So uh, come on, let's have a look. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Um, it's not textured, it's a standard sort of um, uh, cardboard uh, sleeve, I guess, for, for lack of a better term. But I mean, it looks it looks so textured. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very incredibly pretty. And it's sort of, I don't know, there's something whimsical about it, which is fantastic. Um, the fact that the canvas literally continues around the side, like a printed canvas or a wrapped canvas would, is just awesome. Even on the base, which they didn't really need to do, but it's just fantastic. Bit of information about the game there for you. And of course, the back is actually marked up like a timber frame as well. So cool. Uh, you can see the basic concept, can, uh, combine the transparent cards, make an artwork, and obviously score points based on the different components that you've got on the ribbons. Uh, most ribbons wins. Let's um, open up the drawer. <laughs> Unboxing? Unsliding? Who knows? Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Let's just go and jump straight in. Oh, so good. So, so good. Okay, let's put this, you know what, let's make that here because it's nice and pretty. And I want to keep that in shot as much as possible. Um, so the, I'm not 100% sure of all the different components in the box, but mostly it's cards. It is a card game. Um, but I like the fact that you've got the extra um, sleeves so you can actually store things nice and wonderfully in there, which is fantastic. The play mat, which is included in the um, base edition as well, I think. And we've got a lot of stuff in here as well. Punch boards, rule books. Oh my gosh, there's so much that's in this box. Look at that. You've got a storage solution as well in the bottom of the box. 
tokens, tokens, scoring and background cards, canvas mat, art cards, keeps it all nice and ordered when it's hanging on the wall. Very, very handy indeed. All right, punch board. Now we didn't go for the super deluxe with the wooden upgrade tokens. Having said that, the punch board is a really nice, really thick, um, durable uh, token. There you go, that's a bit better. It's really, really nice and it's quite durable. Um, makes that good chit noise that we love and I love little paint tokens as well, which are very cool too. Paintboard tokens. I just want to get back in and play with it. I remember we had the print and play version of this and we literally just played it and played it and played it. And Charlotte, who obviously is an avid gamer, as you're all aware, more of the same tokens there for the different ribbons and things. We'll probably purple one out as well because purple is awesome. Um, was just besotted with it. Even And here's the beauty of it. The um, original print and play didn't have any artwork. It was literally just white cards and just the point symbols, the scoring symbols on the cards. That was it. So it was all a bit crazy. Uh, sleeves. Now these aren't sleeves to sleeve the cards. These are sleeves to make your paintings, which is actually a component and portion of the game. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll come back to the cards. Uh, the rule book. Ooh, you can't tell, but the canvas rule book is actually printed on linen finish canvas um, paper, which is bloody brilliant and a nice little subtle nod uh, to how it all works. Uh, basic rule book, how you play the game. Uh, when you purchase cards, you slide them out. You slide them out of that little deck box so you don't know what's coming up because obviously the cards are transparent and you don't want to see what's coming in advance. How you complete a painting after so many rounds, how you score points, solo variants, game ends, and all that crazy stuff. And you've got different play modes and scenarios there as well, along with achievements to uh, colour in the paint blob when you uh, meet... Uh, when you. Uh, complete each achievement, which is awesome. Uh, rule book is really, really lovely, really high quality, and I love that um, canvas tactile uh, finish. It would have been nice to have that on the box too, but hey, we can't have it all, who knows? Maybe that's something I can do for the other expansion. Now, this is the sleeves for the cards. Uh, they're nice big tarot style uh, cards, so you can fit your um, paintings and things in there. There's nothing else much to say about those except for the fact that they look really, really pretty. So we'll pop those in here. Then we've got backgrounds. So backgrounds and your scorecards, i.e. they fit yonder. And the good thing is I've kept my trusty friend here so we can get in and see what this is all about. I don't know, the, the print and play of Canvas, um, we sort of got lucky because we backed uh, Crypt and then backed um, after Nova, and as a result, got invited to get involved with uh, playtesting uh, this one. Uh, the print and play thing was awesome. We logged a couple of plays, as I said, and then Charlotte just just went for it. And she just really loved it. So the um, scorecards are much, much, much bigger and much more uh, wonderful uh, than the print and play version. They were about half the size, about this much. Once they were printed, that could have been my fault. Uh, and then you've got your scoring. On the back, you've got your clarifications on the scoring components, which is awesome. So yeah, there's lots of different scoring, consistencies, movement. Again, all high quality, which I really, really like. Okay, then you've got the background cards. Now these form the background of your uh, painting. So different backdrops uh, will not really score you necessarily different points uh, as such, but they will just give your, character, your, your painting, your image, just a bit more uh, life. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one of these out and we're going to uh, make a picture to show you how it all works. I think we should go with this one only because it looks like <laughs> the one that's actually in uh, the game. We'll take our sleeve and we'll pop in the background there, like so, and that's the basis for our painting. Then we get into the cards, which are in here. Open that sucker up. Now these uh, stick together a little, but um, you'll have to forgive me, they're sort of all stuck together, they're brand new out of the pack. But you've got different um, cards that give you different names, different other bits and pieces as well. Oh, the game dice, let's put the game dice in. So these get put into the deck box, like so, if I can get them all in. There we go. And then they're placed on the playmat, and then when new cards are drawn, you pull them out and actually complete the row and pass them along. That way you're not seeing 
what cards come out. Uh, so we'll pop that there. We've got our frame, uh, risky and view here. Mm, decisions, decisions. Let's put the dice in because that's awesome. There we go. We'll pop the dice in there to make our painting. And then we're going to randomly draw from the middle somewhere in here. The artwork is just, just incredible. Let's grab those out of there. Let's have a look and see what have we got. We've got a basis. We've got that. Uh, let's see. Let's do those. I'm sort of just picking things semi at random as to what I think is going to look good for the demonstration. <laughs> There's literally hundreds of these cards, uh, which is just fantastic. So when you stack them, and I may have one too many because I think it's three cards that make up a picture. But if you stack them all together and put them inside your painting, then you've got a card, an artwork, that is a risky escape. So is the dice are being thrown at him, who knows, but you score points uh, based on these different components that shine up at the end of the round. And if you can get one of each of the five across there, you'll actually get a better result overall, depending on the scorecards that come out. Um, so it gives you a bit of an idea of how it all sort of flows together, how the game sort of, the core elements of the game, I should say, work. Um, and it just looks, the cards, the translucent cards just look amazing. There's so many different combinations and components uh, on, on those as well. Uh, then we'll put these uh, art cards here. We will put the sleeves there. Tokens will go in there, which is fine. Then we have our playmat, uh, which has got a little bit of a paper wrap. So we'll get that off there. We'll pop that on the floor too. Here we go, we're gonna unroll this one. And there's the playmat that comes with the box. So you've got here your different uh, tokens. Uh, you've got your deck box, which will sit there, your market of cards, which you can purchase, and your four different accolades. So the different accolades are denoted which color tokens you'll get awarded. And they do change depending on the game you're playing. So you'll shuffle up the cards and choose four different ones um, as you play, which gives it a lot of re uh, different replayability. You don't know what you're trying to do in terms of scoring until you actually deal out those cards, which is awesome. Playmat's not essential, but it definitely helps keep everything organized, which I think is fantastic as well. And then when you roll up that bad boy, it slots nicely uh, inside the, uh, the canvas uh, mat slot there. I love how everything's labeled. That's bloody brilliant. I think it's fantastic. And we'll just pop in there, and then you've got your tokens there to keep everything in check. Now, as I said at the outset, we do have a little something, something extra for you. We have the extra added expansion, mini expansion, uh, which adds more cards and more crazy to the game. So if I have a look here, we have an extra pack of cards. And then we've got uh, the extra icon upgrades that gives you a bit more of a rules check with what's going on. And then the awards card. So you choose uh, randomly one awards card and set it next to the canvas mat. So ID ideally on that side next to the uh, award or the judging criteria. Uh, and then you basically add the extra points to the extra game. So this could be the canvas award for having five or more blue or purple or blue and purple tokens. And they're different on each side. Uh, at least once painting with five or more uh, things, four or more uh, canvas uh, awards, three or more um, uh, black ribbons, five or more uh, squares across all three of your paintings, six or more of these, etc. And they're all double sided, so you get four points or three points based on those different accolades. Just adds an extra scoring element, which I really, really like. So I'm going to pop those back in the box there. Special awards for your paintings. And then we've got all of the crazy. Extra bits, extra cards, extra love for this great, great game. So you've got here Forgotten Tower, a dragon, which is just awesome. Uh, is that a mouth? The Dread Tree. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Unicorns, graffiti, and then we've got uh, Pointless. And the different titles of the paintings as well just adds that much more to it. Secret Treasure, Mirage, Desires. 
And the good thing is too, when Reflections does finally make it here, the actual cards are double-sided. So on the back is a whole different image as well. Um, so good, really looking forward to seeing, uh, to getting this to the table, obviously seeing how it plays with extra folks and it will fit in there nice and snugly, I hope. Oh, it's very tight, very tight. It might need a bit of uh, jiggling around to make sure that it works. But look, that's all the bits and pieces that are contained within uh, the canvas um, uh, deluxe edition. Obviously, we missed out on the wooden uh, tokens and components, but it's not necessarily for the gameplay. That was all just an extra physical table presence. Even though it's all relatively a simple game, still quite a great table presence, which I really like. Let's come out and we'll give you some final thoughts on canvas. And there she is, Canvas by Road to Infamy Games, an absolute uh, powerhouse in terms of its presentation, its style, very much an artist's absolute dream. And if you're ever looking for a board game to bring to the table that not only had great uh, stage presence, for lack of a better term, but just looked visually interesting, this is it. Um, I love the transparency card thing. Not since Gloom have I seen it used so, so well. And the fact of the matter is that when we played the print and play, we knew it was going to be something spectacular, but I don't think Charlotte or I realized just how amazing it was actually going to look. Um, Canvas is, I mean, even if you don't enjoy the actual gameplay itself, you're going to want to mess around with the cards and try and come up with the most amazing painting. Um, it's I, it's such a simple idea and it's just executed so, so, so well. And for what this cost on Kickstarter, it wasn't a huge price point. And I think, yes, okay, it would have been nice to have the little easels to mount your paintings on at the end of the day. The wooden upgrade tokens would have been fantastic and felt really nice for a tactile experience. But it's not necessary for what is already a great game. As I said at the outset, Charlotte and I have played this over and over and over and now that we've finally unboxed the proper copy i'm just i'm just devastated that she's not here to to give you her opinion on this great game maybe um i know i've sort of already given it a mini review but maybe if we do a playthrough or a review down the track uh, charlotte can weigh in on that and give you her thoughts as well uh, i'm looking forward to busting this one out of the table i'm going to try and bust it out over the weekend we're away this weekend so it's going to be a good time to uh, get that out of the box and it's going to travel well look at it it's not a huge box there's a lot of game in there uh, 30 minute play time what's not to love uh, canvas by road to infamy uh, that is uh, a fantastic production you've got a big tick from me uh, we will be back with more crazy stuff in the coming weeks we have something extra special we are working on behind the scenes uh, if you are one of our Patreon subscribers, you will get to see this and other videos like it first before anyone else. You can jump on board and join our gamer army by hitting us up at the address you see on your screen, www.patreon.com forward slash hpgamingau, and we'll give you all sorts of goodies, including express shipping on all your orders, just because we can. Uh, you can also pop us comments in the comments section below if you have any questions, or hit us up uh, privately at orders at hpgaming.com.au. You, or you can jump on board the website and secure some sweet, sweet loot by hitting up www.hpgaming.com.au. And if you want to demo this one, you can book us in for an epic game night where we'll come out to you and bring a host of games for you and your friends. You supply the players, we supply the fun. Um, until then, folks, make sure you get to the games table over the weekend, play some sick and epic games. We'll see you back here very, very soon at the table for more fun and adventures in the world of board gaming. Until then, though, it is bye for now.